So last week I started the most random fermentation using a variety of different leftover simple syrups that I had from a cocktail night. And I also added in a bunch of lemon juice to dilute it down. I know what you're probably thinking. Robin, adding a bunch of lemon juice will actually inhibit the fermentation because it'll be too acidic. However, I have a secret ingredient up my sleeve. That is my pomegranate wine yeast. This is a fission yeast and fission yeast, Schizosaccharomyces, is able to ferment in acidic environments. So it's able to ferment at a lower pH than say Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which is your typical brewer's yeast. So I mixed this all together and I added in the lees from my pomegranate wine fermentation. And it sat there for a week and did nothing. A little growth happened on top. I thought that there was some activity. So I looked at it under the microscope. I did not see any fission yeast under the microscope. And also the specific gravity had barely dropped. So no fermentation was going on. There were just microbes in there. They were just hanging out, not doing anything. So I also had some leftover pomegranate arils from the fermentation. There's tons of juice and leaves and the seeds and stuff in here. And I thought, let's toss that in and give that a try. And look at the fermentation now. Sometimes I feel like fermentation is straight up magic. This is so active and I wanted to know, is it the fission yeast that's in there that's doing this fermentation? Is there fission yeast in there? So let's check it out under the microscope. Well, 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 look at what we have here. Definitely some fission yeast. This is still very actively fermenting. It's nowhere near done. So stay tuned because I will have a video breaking down exactly what I put into this fermentation every step of the way. And hopefully in the end, it tastes really great. <laughs> uh, but yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> 